Using designer templates can help you create unique and beautiful scrapbook pages, if you know the tricks for using them. When designers create templates, they typically use the most basic of fonts, and that's so that when you open the templates, you don't get a warning dialog box telling you that the fonts used in the template are missing. They also want to keep it basic so as not to stifle your creativity. So here's template tip number one, change the fonts. There's no need to be drab when the World Wide Web is crawling with a bazillion free fonts that have amazing character. For example, let's look at one of the titles on this template. If you have a page about love and romance, you would want to use a romantic font on your title. If you have a page that's about a really bad day, you wouldn't want to use a delicate script font. Instead, you'd want to use something really bold and maybe even a little bit angry. Using a grungy font would help support a grungy scrapbook page. And the same thing goes for the journaling on the page. Handwriting fonts, for example, give your page character by making it look more personal. Journaling fonts that are in all caps can help to make a statement. And pretty script fonts can make your journaling appear more reflective. Fonts like this are great for heritage pages. So now that you know that you should change the fonts on a template, let me show you how to change them. It's easy. First, in the Layers panel, click on a type layer that you want to change. Then, get the Horizontal Type tool, and in the Tool Options, open the Font Picker, and simply choose a different font. I'll go ahead and change it to this one. Now, keep in mind that not all fonts are created equal. So after changing the font, you might also need to adjust the size, letting, and tracking. So here's my scrapbook page that used this template. Here it was before I changed the fonts, and here it is after. The templates shown in this quick tip are from the Custom Cards class series by Jennifer Juris. You'll find a link to this class series in the manual. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jen White with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.